when you awake, when you understand, when you see, the world becomes right. We're always bothered, aren't we, by the problem of evil. That extraordinary, powerful story of the little kid who's walking in a jungle village in Africa along the banks of a river and sees a crocodile who's been trapped in a net. And the crocodile says, would you have pity on me and release me? I may look ugly, but it isn't my fault, you know. I was made this way. And whatever my external appearance, I've got a mother's heart. I came out this morning in search of food for my young ones. And I got into this trap. And the boy says, aha, if I were to help you out of that trap, you'd kill me. You'd grab me. And the crocodile says, do you think I'd do that to my benefactor and liberator? So the boy was persuaded. And he took the net off, and the crocodile grabbed him. There he was, caught between the jaws of the crocodile, and he says, so this is what I get for my good action. And the crocodile says, well, don't take it personally, son. <laughs> this is the way the world is. This is the law of life. And the boy says, this is not the way the world is. This is not the law of life. And the crocodile says, you want to ask someone? He says, uh, he's a bird sitting up on a branch. And he says, bird, this is what the crocodile says. What have you to say? The bird says, the crocodile is right. Look at me. I was coming home one day with food for my fledglings. And imagine my horror as I was coming back to my nest to see a snake crawling up that tree making straight for my net. And I was totally helpless while it kept devouring my young ones, one after the other. I kept screaming and shouting, but it was useless. The crocodile is right. This is the law of life. This is the way the world is. See, said the crocodile, come, let's go. The boy said, well, let me ask someone else. And the crocodile said, all right, go ahead. And there was an old donkey passing by the bank of that river. And he said, donkey, is this is what the crocodile says. Is the crocodile right? And the donkey said, the crocodile is quite right. Look at me. I've worked and slaved for my master all my life. And he barely gave me enough to eat. And now that I'm old and useless, he has turned me loose. And here I am wandering in the jungle, waiting for some wild beast to pounce on me and put an end to my life. The crocodile is right. This is the law of life. This is the way the world is. See, says the crocodile, let's go. The, the boy said, give me one chance, one last chance. Let me ask one other being. Look how good I was to you. So the crocodile said, all right, your last chance. And the boy sees a rabbit passing by, and he says, rabbit, is the crocodile right? The rabbit sits on its haunches and says to the crocodile, Did you say that to that kid? And the crocodile said, Yes, I did. He said, Wait a minute now. We've got to discuss that. The crocodile said, Go right ahead. And the rabbit said, How could we discuss it if you've got that boy in your mouth? Release him. He's got to take part in the discussion too. The crocodile says, You're a clever one, you are. The moment I release him, he'll run away. And the Rabbit said, I thought you had more sense than that. If he attempted to run away, one slash of your tail would kill him. Fair enough, said the crocodile. So he released the boy. And the moment the boy was released, the rabbit said, run! And he ran and escaped. <laughs> then said the rabbit to the boy, don't you enjoy crocodile flesh? Don't the people in your village, in, wouldn't they like to have a good meal? You know something? You didn't really release that crocodile. Most of his body still caught in the net. Why don't you go to the village and bring everybody and have a banquet? So that's exactly what the boy did. He went to the village, called all the men folk. They came with their axes and staves and spears to kill the crocodile. 
and the boy's dog came with him. And when the dog saw the rabbit, he gave chase, caught hold of the rabbit, and throttled it. And the boy comes panting on the scene, too late. And as he watches the rabbit die, he says, the crocodile was right. This is the way the world is. This is the law of life. And there's no explanation you could give that would explain away all the suffering and the evil and the torture and the destruction and the hunger in the world. You never explain it. You try and gamely with your formulas, religious and otherwise, but you never explain it. Because life is a mystery, which means your thinking mind cannot make sense out of it. For that you've got to wake up and you suddenly realize that reality is not problematic. You are the problem. 